Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. Alright, so I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2x. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 2x, I'm going to rewrite that as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x. Now, a to the power of m times n, this is also equal to a to the power of n times m, right? We could switch the order of these two. So if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times m, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. And if these three are equal, then this means that a to the power of n to the power of m is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. So now I have x to the power of x is 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. Now, 2 to the power of x squared, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x. So now on both sides I'm going to divide by 2 to the power of x. So then these two cancel out. And now I'm left with x to the power of x over 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So this is equal to x over 2 to the power of x which is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now I'm going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x. Remember if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x times 1 over x, these two cancel out. And again, these two cancel out, so I'll simply just be left with x over 2 is equal to 2. Now to solve this, I'm going to simply multiply both sides by 2. These two cancel out, so on my left-hand side, I have, I have x is equal to 2 times 2 is 4. So x equals 4 is my answer. Now to check, my original equation was x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2x. So I know that x equals 4, so now I have 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times 4. Now I have 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. Now 4, this is the same thing as 2 squared, so I have 2 squared to the power of 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. 2 times 4 is 8, so I have 2 to the power of 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. And because this is right, my solution is right. Alright, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18. So to solve, to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by rewriting 19 here as 18 plus 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 18 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 18. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 18 plus 1, I can write that as 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1. And I have this minus 2 to the power of 18. So now from here, I can simply factor out 2 to the power of 18. So now I have 2 to the power of 18 times, now 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 18, or sorry, divided by 2 to the power of 18 is simply just 2 to the power of 1 and now this minus, or sorry, negative 2 to the power of 18 divided by 2 to the power of 18 is simply negative 1. Now, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. So 2 to the power of 18 times 1, which is simply equal to 2 to the power of 18. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to simplify this to get the exact value of 2 to the power of 18. So 2 to the power of 18, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2. 
and 2 to the power of 9, as most of you probably know, is 512. So this is the same thing as 512 to the power of 2. Now 512 to the power of 2, I can write as 500 plus 12 to the power of 2. And this is the same thing as 500 plus 12 times 500 plus 12. So now to solve this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start by distributing 500. So I have 500 times 500, which is the same thing as 500 squared, plus 500 times 12. Plus, now I can distribute the 12. So I have 12 times 500 plus 12 times 12. So now 500 times 500, this is the same thing as 250,000. So I have this plus 500 times 12 is the same thing as 6,000 plus, again, 6,000 plus 144. Now 6,000 plus 6,000 is 12,000 and 12,000 plus 250,000 is 262,000. So I have 262,000 and we can't figure out 144 then. So I have 262,144. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have eight to the power of four plus eight to the power of four. So to solve this problem, I'm gonna first start out by factoring out eight to the power of four. So now I have eight to the power of four times, well, eight to the power of four divided by eight to the power of four is one. So I have eight to the power of four times one plus one. Now, if I simplify those in the parentheses, I get 8 to the power of 4 times 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now 8 here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So if I replace 8 with 2 to the power of 3, I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 times 2. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times 4. And 3 times 4, that's simply equal to 12. So I have 2 to the power of 12 times 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m, times a to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. So I have 2 to the power of 12 times 2 to the power of 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 12 plus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 13. So this is my answer. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and simplify it. So we know that 2 to the power of 10, this is equal to 1024. So 2 to the power of 11, this is going to equal double of 1024 which is 2048. And 2 to the power of 12, this is double 2048, which is 4096. So 2 to the power of 13, this is going to be double of 4096, which is going to be 8192. So 8192 is my answer. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve an interesting exponential equation. So my equation is 100 to the power of x is equal to 400. And I want to find the value of x. So we see that x is going to be in between 1 and 2 because 100 to the power of 1 is 100, and 100 to the power of 2 is 10,000. So it's going to be more closer to 1 than it is 2, but it's going to be somewhere in the range of 1 and 2. So to solve this, what I'm going to be using is logarithms. So I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log 100 to the power of x is equal to log 400. And if I have something in the form of log a to the power of b, let's move this exponent to b to the front, so I get b times log a. 
In this case, I have log 100 to the power of x. I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 100 is equal to log 400. Now, I'm going to take the log of base 100. So, log base 100 of 100 is just 1. And log base 100 of 400, well, 400 is the same thing as 100 times 4. So I can rewrite this as log base 100 of 100 times 4, which is equal to log of 4 over log of 100. And I have 1 plus this because of this. So now log of 4 is the same thing as log of 2 squared. And log of 100 is the same thing as log of 10 squared. So I can move the 2 to the front and the 2 to the front over here. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 10. These two cancel out. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 10, which is equal to 0 0.301. So x is equal to 1.301.